and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, we've just weathered over the last few days one of the biggest rain bombs I think I've ever seen in my whole life. And we're now sort of coming out of hibernation over the last couple of days from the homestead just to check out what's going on. And I've just sort of turned around the corner and bang, look at this one, number one. So, a couple of positives though. My fence sort of stood up. <laughs> we'll have to do a little bit of repair this afternoon. But, you know, we've got the tree come out from the side of the bank there, and this one was already dead. But the, you know, a couple of positives here. We've got a bit of firewood ready to rock and roll. So we'll come up and we'll cut this through this afternoon. And the goats have now got a little bridge going over the stream. How good's that? So, you know, this is just the start now, and what we'll do is we'll go up and have a look at the waterfall and see what sort of um, flow we've got coming up there. You can see behind me that the the penstock, which I haven't put into the ground yet, so it's all been a bit um, a bit manic around here in the last few days. But you know, that looks like it's held up all right. And um, well, yeah. So new firewood for the summer. I'm going to be having to have cook my meals now. How good's that? <laughs> All right, we'll move further up and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. You can check, see the waterfall, you know. It's almost like um, Niagara Falls, it's pretty full on. And unfortunately, you know, we've lost a, a bit of our pen stop there, but, you know, this is a good thing. So I know what's happened now, you know. We've had to, obviously too much water come through and we're really going to have to sort out that penstock um, and fix it to the, the side of the, the, the rock cliff face there. So we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do here as well. Pick up all our bits and pieces and um, we'll just store that for the next few days and make sure that that's all safe. But yeah, I mean, wow. You know, we had a bucket load of rain. You know, we were close to about 160 mil just in you know, like a 12, 13 hour period. So where we are here at Fat Cow Farm, you know, we've got nothing, you know, we've got massive hills all the way around us. And so this is like the, the catchment culvert, so to speak. And so we've got all the runoff coming down um, from those hills and mountains behind us. They come up and land up in this, this dam here. And what you're seeing now, the, this waterfall, is the overflow from the top dam so lots of water and you know with something like that <laughs> i was like i'm thinking about it this morning and all of a sudden i would have gone well you know if we actually had our little hydro um turbine in there we would be generating like thousands and thousands of kilowatt hours we wouldn't know what to do with it all so anyway bit of a shame we've had some logs go down the creek and they're pretty substantial one. Oh, that's the way it goes. So we'll move off to the next, see what else we can find and I'll see you soon. All right, now here we are on, on top of swale number one and we've never seen this one spill over before. And you know, it's actually all worked and I'm absolutely, you know, like I can't believe how well this whole system has worked for us. So what we've got, and you can probably see behind me like that's just catchment running through that swale there. But what I'm standing in here is actually the, the spillway. And so as this all raises, we then have, this is our sort of exit point or overflow for the, for the swale and then runs back down towards the creek. So, you know, I'm just looking around and, you know, I've got a lot of movement. A lot of the grass has all been pushed over. I've got sediment against my fence. So, oh, oh, Moa, I've got um, stuff on the fence. They're all caught up. So, you know, I, I'm just sort of like the, the whole swale process is that, you know, there's a lot of water here, a lot of water and that sort of trends. Oh, it goes back over probably about another 600, um, 700 metres back through the other paddocks. Oh, well, that's enough. And, you know, imagine a lot of this water coming through the property 
and and so you know like it's held it up it's worked a treat now i'm going to be thinking that this is going to take a long time to absorb into the soil because we are so sodden here but we've slowed that water up you know to prevent further damage going back down towards the homestead so we've had the um the camels and the cows and, and everyone else on high ground so they're all up above swale number one so they're all looking happy we've got everyone that um we've accounted for everyone so we'll probably leave them up here for another day or two and just you know the sun's trying to come out we'll let um the major big puddles around all the paddocks sort of dry up and then we'll start shifting them around but um it was just as a precaution for us higher ground for everyone and um we're all worked all out all right eh? so We'll keep on travelling the boundaries and fences and, and see what we can find. So I'll see you soon. All right, so I can't believe this. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick that up there, but we've got a paddock just above that little rise there. And this is like a, um, it's almost like a little sort of spring sort of area. We have a creek and I'll take you further down, um, further down. Where, you know where the creek comes or the little spring comes out <laughs> trees are down and i've just got water coming from everywhere at the moment so you know that looks quite pretty <laughs> in some respects so the way it's cascading over the grass but you know we got more, more firewood now so that's always good and we're getting to see where the water wants to take itself so as a part of planning for future um, developments, you know, I know that I can work my way down this. So, you know, I'm, I'm just looking up the top there and there's a huge big hole. The trees, the, the, obviously the, the ground's given way, the tree's falling down and all the water's rushing into the root ball, which is then just taking all the sediment away. So, once this all stops, you know, mid-summer, mid we'll have to have a look at repairing that, but, uh, not a job for today, I tell you. So we'll go further down, because I reckon if we've got this much water coming in, it's gonna be interesting to see what's going on down there. So I'll see you soon. All right, so this is one of the, this was a crossing that we had for the vehicles um, to go from one paddock to the other. And all finished. <laughs> so you can see it's all been caught up, all the big logs coming through and they've all just been caught up on the way down. And I'm just looking further down now. It's almost what you can get a um, long water down there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know, so we're looking at 24 hours pretty much after that big rain bomb. And the amount of water still coming through is just amazing. So, you know, come, this is normally just, if anything, you know, there's little puddles. That's it. So, like I said before, it's, it's good that we can now see the natural course of where the water wants to go. But the erosion, man, it is full on. So, you know, there's going to have to be a fairly big planning process come through now for these sort of events um, which in some ways is good you know it's it's a part of the development of what we're doing here at that power farm so we'll keep on going down i'd really like to see where this all ends up but um, hey there you go eh? i'll see i'll see you further down i'll see you soon all right so here we are pretty much at the um at the end of the property now you can see behind me my nice little spring. I, it's, it's like a massive torrent. And then I've just noticed here, I've got another big river. Not a big river, but you know, this is all just much the surface runoff. Because the land sort of cut back. So this is obviously coming from, from underground. And, and it's just, my God. Mate, the amount of water. I, I just cannot believe the volume that is still just pumping and pumping and pumping. You know, like, it's not, 
it's not super high. I'm looking around at you know, some of the trees and we've got debris around the trunks and things, but there's a lot of water coming through this joint. And wow, it, um, which is good. So as a part of like a, um, a video diary, you know, I'm gonna start thinking about how we can um, almost harness it, you know, and maybe we've gave in walls to slow it up a little bit more, and especially over those summer periods, um, so that if we do get some rains, now that this course is cut, you know, I'm almost thinking that this is almost going to be now the permanent sort of run of the natural, this, this overflow or creek or, or whatever it may be. So, mate, it is full on. So, a lot, a lot of water. You know, I've got more trees behind, in, down in front of me here. So I'm going to go back up to the other side of the property now and see what um, what we've got going up there. But, um, you know, I think that really at the end of the day, the only thing that we've got to sort of manage now is, is really the water erosion, you know. Um, one fence on a tree, you know, neither here nor there. They'll get that squared away this afternoon. But, you know, it's just, wow. Absolutely wow. I'm a little bit in um, in shock actually. I just I really didn't expect this to be like this, if that makes sense, you know. So but anyway, look, I'll jump back into the um, into the into the buggy and we'll we'll, we'll we'll take a run and I want to see where that water's coming from. Because I haven't seen that before. So <laughs> it's just alright. I'll see you later on. I'll see you soon. Alright, well I found that source of water from that one I hadn't seen before down there. This is on our neighbor's property here. He's got like a, a, um, a section of bush. And this has always been dry, always been dry. And it's all just covered in blackberries. And you can see there's a lot of water still coming out here. You know, and what it's done is actually um, sort of broken the, the blackberries down and I can actually see a course running through. But, you know, Looking at this now, I mean, this was all just one big, one big, big, massive blackberry. I mean, this is, that's what our property was like when we first got here, you know. <laughs> and we've just been working flat out on the pastures and things like that. So, it's good to see now where this water course all runs. Um, because, you know, we can, we can harness this, you know. I'm sure that we can sort of put some stock troughs or something like this further down that we can harness and actually use a lot of this water um, but you know again it's all very seasonal it's 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 something that um, you know like I said I hadn't seen this run before and you know there is a valley here on our neighbors property so sure enough you know water will go to the lowest point and off she goes so hey there's a lot of water here a lot of water so I'm going to keep on going further back up now and, um, and check for more trees and, and see what other stuff we've got on. I've got to go check the goats, I haven't done that yet. But um, I've heard them, but I haven't seen them. So I just want to make sure that they're all right. And away we go, so onwards and upwards. All right, so here we are. We've got the goat paddock just over to my right there. We've counted everyone, everyone's safe. But I can hear water and, you know, I've got like, shh, Gal not even gallons, megalitres of water coming through the goat paddock here. And, you know, like, wow, it is just full on. I, I've just never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. But, you know, the positives are that, you know, we, we, we know where the water's running now. And that's something for us to manage coming down the future for, for Fat Cow Farm now. And, you know, the swales, they did exactly what they were all meant to do. You know, they held up the water. So I just didn't have, you know, gallons and gallons and megalitres of water running over the paddocks and, and, and the erosion would have been so much worse. You know, even looking at here, it's, it's sheeting across the paddocks. So now that's okay, I can handle that. But it's when it comes into a funnel system or something like that, that's when we're gonna start getting that erosion. So, you know, We've only got one major damage 
so far. So we've got to fix a fence and cut up a tree and you know, that's, that's all cool. But you know, I just wanted to show you really what happens. So this, this rain event that we had or this rain bomb, and it was full on, you know, 160 odd mils in the space of a few hours. So it's just bang, thank you very much. And we held up, you know, and, and that's, that's what it's all about. So all the planning and, and the processing and, and, you know, just getting everything sorted out here at Fat Cow Farm is actually working. And this is what, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud about it, you know, like the, 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 the time and effort that we've gone to put into things has now worked because this is what it was all about. We wanted to slow up the water and we wanted to sort of harness that water. But you know, we weren't looking at extremities like this. We were looking at, you know, 20, 30 mil of rain. We could hold up that water, get it back into the ground and off we go. So, but look, you know, all about putting processes together, swales, um, looking at, you know, the, the whole environment that we've got here at Fat Cow Farm, it's all worked well, mate. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.